play too damn much hey guys it's Issa welcome to my channel today I'm gonna be showing you guys how it is that I moisturize my hair and seal my hair for maximum length retention I have been getting asked about my hair care routine how I you know keep my hair moisturized you guys know it's the summertime and y'all can see that uh, this is what I got going on it's the summertime and to be quite frank with you guys the majority of the time I do not wear my hair out during the summertime I don't really wear my hair out during the winter time either but I wear my hair out more so in the winter and fall than I do in the summer so I spend a lot of time protective styling pretty much year-round so <laughs> um, with that being said the question is how do I grow my hair or how do I get length retention in between those protective styles and how I moisturize like my hair care routine has not changed much I pretty much keep it the same I moisturize my hair the same however however I decided to incorporate something that I didn't think that I would incorporate in a long time and that is grease this is a mixture of greases I know a lot of people don't like to mix stuff together one of the greases that I did use in this grease combination the blue magic originals and this is the Indian hemp and I can say that I really do enjoy this product a lot I'm gonna show you guys how it is that I moisturize my hair but before I get into moisturizing my hair I want to let you guys know that grease is a sealant it's a sealant therefore it means that you cannot just slap some grease on your head and expect your hair to be moisturized it's not happening that way baby I'm sorry if you thought that was gonna happen but it will not it will just sit on top of your head so what I like to do is apply my tea this is what I usually do and this is basically going to open up the cuticles of the hair now you don't need a lot of water or tea or whatever it is that you choose to use this is just my water mixture you use a little bit of your water mixture then I have here my earth supplied leave-in conditioner since people want to know what products I'm using you go in with your leave-in conditioner and I go ahead and apply a nice good amount to my hair like so starting at the ends working my way up kind of using the praying method then I go in with my grease and this is what it looks like it's nice and thick and I always start at my ends applying the grease mixture and working my way up like so and I like to make sure that I get all the sections of my hair and then I'm going to detangle from ends working my way up and boom as y'all can see grease adds such a tremendous shine to the hair which is what i really like about it and for me typically i just go ahead and flat twist my hair like so and the reason i like to use grease on my hair as a sealant is because I have felt that over time like grease is a great protector like it adds a great barrier and I feel like it does help to prevent breakage when it comes to my natural hair I do feel like adding oils I hope it's not spilling over yeah it was definitely spilling over I do feel like adding oils to my hair moisturize my hair but when you add that grease it adds like a thick layer over your hair and it helps prevent breakage in the hair in my personal opinion and I feel like overall it has helped me to gain that length retention that I need and as you can see length retention is definitely being retained 
okay and my hair tends to grow in layers and I started to notice especially over the front part of the layers it has been growing so much especially my edges and that is why I have been really using grease at first I was one of those naturals that I was like I'm not greasing my hair we do not do that like no but I had to try it I had to try it and I've been using it for a few months now and I do have to say that I have noticed a tremendous difference in my hair after greasing it and so that is why I'm doing it right now. My hair has gotten thick to the point where now I have to separate it in two sections like this. I know I'm being dramatic, but you want to be as gentle with your hair as possible. And I do this maybe twice a week now. I used to have to moisturize my hair a lot, but ever since I started using grease, I literally only have to moisturize one to two times a week. And my hair is good because you know, I wear a lot of buns and styles like that, so I don't feel the need to go ahead and, you know, moisturize my hair every day, especially in the summertime because I don't even wear my hair out. Because I wanted to talk about, you know, how to really properly use grease. Like I said, it's a, a sealant. And for me personally, I do not grease my scalp. I don't. I'm not gonna tell anybody else whether or not they should grease their scalp. However, for me personally, I find that that does not work. I used to grease my scalp when I was younger and I found that it would always cause unnecessary buildup on my scalp and that would just not work good for me because I was scratching my head all the time and I did not like it so therefore I did not proceed to do that to my hair however it does work on the strands of my hair which I really really do like it that way now the other thing that I also do when it comes to greasing my hair is I add oils to my grease. I find that adding oils and mixing my grease with oils makes the perfect oil mixture for my length retention. And some of my favorite oils to use is castor oil, olive oil, avocado oils, oils like that. You can definitely use lighter oils. Use the oil of your preference. You may only wanna use one oil. That's up to you. You may not want to use any oils at all, but for me, I find that mixing my grease with oil gives it just a tad bit more slip, which is amazing. And I feel like it makes it easier for me to comb through my hair when I add oils to my grease. It's almost like a butter, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't want to use grease, then I sure enough advise you to use shea butter and I'll make a separate video on shea butter because shea butter is amazing, okay? I use shea butter for my hair masks and things of that nature. So just go ahead and gently brush. Y'all can see my hair is gliding through and I don't have to do much. And I feel like this is more so the product of the grease than the actual leave-in conditioner. As crazy as that sound, that the grease gives my hair a lot more slip and it makes it easier for me to detangle my hair and easier for my hair to retain that moisture, that shine. Can y'all see that? Like, guys, that's amazing. That's a freak amazing. Just take a look. Just take a look. Look at that. And so I like to go ahead and flat twist my hair. I like to keep my routine very simple. So I'll flat twist it like so and since I won't be going out for the next few days I will not be taking my hair out of this flat twist style I will keep it in here and just walk around the house like this wear my scarf you know just keep it in a little cute protective style until I get my hair done or until wash day this is what I do in between protective styles this is what I do before I protective style I like to grease my hair like this and I promise you like you will stop all that breakage that you have been getting of course you know it is important to make sure that you're looking into your diet or looking into any vitamin deficiencies if your hair is not reaching its maximum full length retention you know 
I like to give my hair a lot of love too. So if you wanna grow your hair, I give my hair words of affirmation. Then I add my little leave-in conditioner. Start at the ends, work my way up like so. And then I add my grease. And I feel like the grease, this is it y'all. This grease mixture that I made is it. It gives me the best slip ever. And not only just the best slip ever, it just also creates that barrier. And the reason I feel like getting that barrier in your hair before brushing your hair is super important is because it keeps your hair strong. It prevents it from breaking. I feel like when I brush through my hair, because my hair used to be so brittle. It was crazy. It used to, it was crazy how brittle it used to be when I used to brush through it. But now when I put grease in my hair, especially on wash days, when I just do like four braids, I'll do one braid here, one braid back here, one braid here, and one braid back here. With the same method I'm using right now, like, that's it. That's my wash day. Literally, I'll put four braids in my hair with the grease, I'll moisturize and seal with grease, and my leave-in conditioner, and I'm telling you guys, like, my hair would like, be moisturized the next day like as opposed to if I just use oils in my hair and just to let you guys know I do not apply grease to my scalp I don't now like I said it may work for somebody but for me the only thing that I apply to my scalp is my water mixture or I will apply my peppermint oil because y'all know I'm loyal to my peppermint oil essential oil not actual oil but essential oil and I feel like I massage my scalp and that just helps my hair grow beautifully. And then I use the grease to maintain the hair growth that I'm having. And I always like to make sure those ends are the first thing because like the ends are the oldest part of your hair. So you wanna make sure that you're taking care of those ends because if you don't, then you're gonna have some problems retaining that length. So yeah. And as you can see, well, you guys can't really tell, but I know that there was a certain part of my hair back here that I had cut off. Um, it probably won't show up on camera. But I had accidentally cut it off by my protective styles that I was taking out. And you guys, it's growing right back. And of course, you know, hair grows, but the way that I was able to maintain that little problem area with this grease, I don't got no complaints. I don't got no complaints for real but if you want to see a video that is goes deeper into depth about me greasing my hair and how I make my grease mixtures for my hair please like this video and I will definitely make that grease mixture the reason I titled it length retention is because I don't want to sit here and say that grease makes your hair grow because we know that the hair grows from the scalp, not from the ends, not from the middle of your hair, but from the scalp. Therefore, you need to make sure that you take care of those ends and the middle of your hair so that you can have the maxi maximum length retention when it comes to your hair. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video was super informative. I hope this shed some light for somebody. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Let me know what kind of hair videos you guys wanna see because, you know, I've just been chilling over here because like I really do wear a lot of weaves. I don't know if you guys wanna see me do some wig reviews or do some tutorials on how to install your protective styles, how I take care of my protective styles for maximum length retention. Y'all let me know what y'all wanna see and I'll see you guys in the next one.